Civilian Soldier 762 here, and I just got a package in from a good friend. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and see what's inside. So let's see what we got here. First, we got a plum. It looks black, but it's actually plum. Russian handguard. That's awesome. Next, we got a optic of some sort. He said he was going to be sending me this for the my Smith & Wesson MP1522. It's a looks like a Sightmark EOTech clone. That's pretty cool. And what else do we have? An East German side folding AK stock. And the hardware for it. So that's the package I got in the mail today when I got home. All compliments of my good buddy. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy about that. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at this East German side folder and these Polish or these uh, Russian handguards, the plum handguards on one of my AKs. I love the way that plum looks. I don't know if you can see it good in the sunlight like this or not. This stock is actually really comfortable. I didn't. I was hesitant to get one of these ever because I thought you wouldn't be able to get a very good cheek weld, but it's actually pretty comfortable. So shoot. Try it folded up here. So there it is, uh, East German side folder and a Russian plum handguard on my Arsenal SGL-21. Hope you guys like it. And the one other thing that came in the package is this Sightmark EOTech style sight clone. It's a, actually a really cool sight. It's night vision compatible, which is really cool. So maybe if I get like a first generation cheap night vision like 30 millimeter tube or something, that would be pretty neat, but uh, yeah, it's it's a great sight just for this 22 here. I'll go ahead and take it inside and show you guys the reticles if you're interested in that. Love this little rifle. So here's the different reticles on this, and it's got three levels of brightness. For inside, the lowest ones, about the best. But this is a uh, like a circle with a crosshair and a dot, and you've got just the regular dot. I think it's like a two or three MOA dot. Then you've got crosshairs, and you've got just a circle and dot like in EOTech. And it's actually, you know, pretty cool. I think I'm going to try to go to the range today or tomorrow and sight it in.